You got icing everywhere. You got it on mommy. No. It's crazy to think we've been living in an RV for a full year. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that went really it, fast. It did. <laughs> We want to talk about a few things that we've learned over the past year through trial and error, mostly error. Top of our list would probably have to be you got to learn to just roll with it. RVs break down. You have issues. We've actually broke down three times, been towed to. It's not perfect, but it's fun and it's part of the adventure. We've probably gotten lost more times than we could count. <laughs> Usually with a couple, like one of the two is good with directions, but neither of us is good with directions, <laughs> so it gets bad. Thank goodness for Google Maps though. Mm. <laughs> We've worn that thing out. It's rained, it's rained, and it's rained some more. <laughs> Again, we've just had to learn to roll with it. I just think as long as you have that positive attitude so that when things do go wrong, it's just, you just got to say to yourself, it's part of the journey and just love life through it anyway. We've definitely had our stressful moments. I kid Nathan all the time because I really wanted him to cry when we got married. <laughs> and he didn't cry, so I give him a hard time about it. All the time. <laughs> still. <laughs> and then I wanted him to cry when we had Hensley. And he still didn't cry. And I thought it was impossible until... Uh, <laughs> Until our RV broke down. It was a disaster <laughs> with our first RV. And I walked in on a Nathan Holden Hensley. And she was crying. And, and he was crying. And I thought, this is what it took? <laughs> it's so much deeper than the RV. But yeah, you... As a guy, I know the guys will understand this. You want to make the right decisions for your family and plan everything for your family. You want everything to go perfectly. Or you feel like a failure as a father, as a husband... Just know and let your wife know up front <laughs> that you're going to make mistakes. Things are going to go wrong. and uh, You'll you probably end, cry. Yeah, and you may end up crying. <laughs> 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 Something we learned really fast in RVing is how friendly RVers are. Our very first RV purchase, we broke down. It was kind of a nightmare. And I think what saved us was how friendly people were and how helpful and every time it seems like we've been in a situation people are so nice and helpful that's just been an awesome experience for us we've met some really great people <laughs> they've helped us when we needed it the second time we broke down we had to have our truck towed and then we had to have our fifth wheel towed and so <laughs> It was extremely helpful when we showed up and um, they were helping us make sure we got in our spot and was helping Nathan level it. And it was just, you know, a breath of fresh air when you're struggling and people are there to pick you up. We also realized that moving from a house to an RV was not as difficult as we thought it was going to be. Um, initially, it was very, very stressful. <laughs> Uh, the beginning process was probably the hardest part, in my opinion. Do you yeah, agree? Just yeah. downsizing, selling everything, making the leap was by far the hardest part. And then after we got in our RV, I felt like it it was good. It made it made total sense for us. I think once the the fun sets in and the adventure sets in, then it kind of makes having a small space worth it in in our eyes and that's really good news because if you're curious if you could live in an rv or not and say you've got a three bedroom four bedroom house really you know you can go ahead and cut off one or two of those rooms over time and start getting rid of your stuff and downsize so you can kind of practice what it would be like to live in a small space without having to take the leap of <laughs> living in an rv yet not having as much stuff i was a little worried about that in the beginning <laughs> I wondered how I would adjust to that. There's nothing I really miss. I mean, to be honest, it, it's actually been kind of freeing not having as much stuff to deal with. 
and it's a continual process because stuff is always coming in so we have to make sure stuff is going out. So the last thing we've learned in this year of RV living and really it's this has been the last six or eight months is that putting yourself out there on YouTube can definitely get tough <laughs> but it's worth it because YouTubers rock. You know we've had some ups and downs with the comments. I warned Marissa when we started doing this. It's not that I guess sometimes people try to be mean. It's just that sometimes you don't realize when you top things that they can come out as being mean or they come out. Okay, some things that were said were just flat out mean. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just go and say it. We've, we've been insulted. We've been cussed at. You know, we've had things said about my wife that sound like it's coming from a drunken sailor. We've had somebody accuse us of being money hungry scam artists. Um, with that one, somebody, somebody, uh, we didn't have a donate button on our YouTube channel, and somebody sent me a message and was like, Hey, why don't you put a donate button on your YouTube channel? I'm like, Okay, sure. So I put the donate button up. It wasn't two days after I put that donate button up that somebody said, I see you put the donate button up. Um, I guess you're just money hungry like all the other YouTubers begging for money all the time. You can't win. <laughs> With a lot of it. You know, that stuff's hard. When you put yourself out there, it's gonna happen. But I say all that to say, 99 plus percent of the comments are just awesome. I mean, they're encouraging, they're, they're pushing us on. Encouragement is a big part of what keeps us going, not just on YouTube, but just even RVing in general. We didn't imagine being where we are today, and uh, we've got you guys to thank for what we really do. It definitely is a little more of a challenge putting, putting your life out there. Sometimes I tell Nathan, I just want to live in our little bubble and be protected, I guess. But we just decided we wanted to make an impact. We wanted to be helpful. Because that's how we got started, was we happened to come across a video of somebody doing this and we had no idea that this was even a possibility and we fell in love with it. If we can change one person's life into doing this and having a blast with their family, then it's been totally worth <laughs> Putting, putting everything out there and um, having to probably toughen up just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> we hope that this video has helped as far as expectations on some things that we went through in our first year. Uh, we'll continue to put ourselves out there, uh, the ups and the downs, <laughs> and we hope that we can make a difference by doing that. I've been craving cake since I've been sitting here, so we're gonna go back in and eat some more cake. <laughs> 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 and, uh, we'll catch you guys later. <laughs>